I am the fourth generation of, of farming rice in, in Arkansas. My two sons, Hal and, and Rich, are the fifth generation, and Colin Torian would be the sixth. My great-grandfather uh, and his family, about uh, the late 1910, loaded all their possessions up and, and uh, came to Arkansas with the, the hope and promise of better opportunities. Nearly a half century before the Hillmans sought a new life here in Arkansas, the seeds were being planted for another success story an institution that would grow with the Hillmans and thousands of other farm families. Championed by Abraham Lincoln, the 1862 Morrill Act laid the groundwork for land-grant institutions such as the University of Arkansas. These land-grant universities would provide education for all. It would provide a link between the once remote outpost of research and bring it to those who could use it. Nine years later, the Arkansas Industrial University was founded that would grow into the University of Arkansas. Um, the Morrill Act has uh, also helped me get an education by, by being a public university such as the University of Arkansas. In the 1800s, probably uh, 1860 and on, um, the foresight of, of our elected officials back then to make the sacrifice, uh, money was pretty tight back then, uh, but so was food. And I think that they had the foresight uh, to know that, that uh, the way that we would get out of that problem was through a higher education. Education that has helped agriculture evolve and grow into a key sector of Arkansas's economy. That educational vision continued to grow following the Civil War. In 1887, the Hatch Act was signed, providing federal funds for the nation's agricultural experiment stations. The Arkansas Agricultural Experiment Station was added the following year. In 1914, the Smith-Lever Act created the Cooperative Extension Service, a core of educators who turned research into practical results on the farm. The University of Arkansas Division of Agriculture was created in 1959 to oversee both the research going on at the Agriculture Experiment Stations and the extension programs of the land-grant universities. Long before I ever started talking about the link between education and economic development, between that and jobs and economic prosperity, uh, the U of A and uh, the Division of Agriculture, uh, the, uh, the research and extension uh, was actually doing precisely that. Your work in agriculture pumped $16 billion into Arkansas's economy in 2010 and accounted for more than one in every six jobs in the state. Agriculture has a nearly $10 billion payroll in Arkansas each year and generates nearly 11% of Arkansas's gross domestic product. When you consider the multiplier effect from indirect and induced contributions, such as spending by farmers, their families, and their employees, agriculture's contribution rises to approximately 16% of the state's gross domestic product. Uh, agriculture is a business and probably the largest business in the state of Arkansas. When I look at agriculture in the state where, you know, as much as maybe 11 or 12 percent of the, of the GNP comes from agriculture directly, um, I'm just amazed and thankful actually uh, for those individuals who are engaged in this business. The number of jobs in this state that are directly or indirectly tied to agriculture are just phenomenal. Many of Arkansas's producers turn to the University of Arkansas Division of Agriculture this for research-based information and technology uh, to control pests, enrich soil, reduce or eliminate runoff, and provide an abundance of food and food products that are the envy of the world. If you think about how we have improved the um, amount of feed grains we can generate per, per acre, and then you look at how the population has grown of the world. I don't think it's, a, it's, it's much of a stretch to see that if we didn't have the system we had, and if our system were not as productive as it was, there would be huge uh, famines and starvation in the world. I've been to Asia and other parts of the world. My father has too. Uh, there's no doubt that the American farmer, uh, specifically Arkansas rice farming, 
is the safest rice, affordable rice in the world. Together, the Morrill Act, the Hatch Act, and the Smith-Lever Act created an educational system open for all that would embrace everyone regardless of race, creed, or color. It was just like that silent partner standing by Bart on the farm to help him accomplish what he needed to do to continue to be a successful farmer, to be a good environment, uh, you know, steward of his land. He needed that silent partner and that's what the land grants have always been for any farmer, producer, or rancher in my opinion. It talks about who, is, who this is designed to benefit and it's effectively the children of what they call the industrialized class. So the families with wealth already, they, they were you know, going to the private schools and setting up this system of land-grant institutions, they gave everyone in the country the opportunity for higher education. And as we know, higher education, it benefits the individual, their family, and in fact, it, it, it actually benefits their entire community. With our cooperative extension service, we have made more money. We have sold more vegetables and more products. We've been able to open markets we didn't have before. We've been able to, to get to people um, that we didn't know how to market to. The research and extension programs born of the land-grant universities provide much more than just agricultural technologies. In some cases, they were the heart of a community. It was a focal point where New ideas and new research came about, and we could always see uh, the experiment station grow as far as its research and development of new ideas and technology. Part of our statewide mission is focusing in on the impacts on families, youth, and communities. We have a variety of organizations and programs that reach out to youth. Our 4-H is the largest youth program in the nation. It touches more youth than any of the other programs put together. We have uh, uh, counseling programs from looking at, at uh, marriage and personal finance, a number of programs that come through and delivered through our county offices and through our extension specialists. And then we also have a focus on trying to maintain our communities to where they're vibrant, uh, 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 successful organizations that they can continue to grow, they can offer uh, jobs, they can keep their young people, and this really offers a high quality of living. It offered a lot of uh, risk management, financial management, how to help you uh, look at how you could do things to save money on the farm so that you could spread your dollars as long as you could. Over the last 20 years, many benefits which directly affected my income have made an improvement on my farm in many areas like lighting, cooling, ventilation, and also air and water quality. What a just a dynamic resource and, and source of information, not only on the website, not only in the press releases and so on, but in the information that we get individually from, from the Cooperative Extension agents at the county level and the various research uh, stations across the state. Uh, just a great willingness to cooperate and help inform not only farmers, but consumers and everybody. Because, you know, like the old saying is, if you're involved in, if you eat, you're involved in agriculture. And in 1962, one more piece was laid for the land grants with the passage of the McIntyre Stennis Act. That law authorized funding for forestry schools and forestry research programs, widening the land grants educational reach in Arkansas. Today, the Division of Agriculture conducts cutting edge research in its laboratories and fields at Experiment, Research, and Extension Centers on the U of A campus and at 12 locations around the state. Research by its very nature often ends up with many, many struggles that don't come to fruition, that don't see results. But it takes patience, it takes perseverance, but it is so important to the improvement of the quality of life and the quality of mankind that you have to, you have to embrace research. Uh, a U.S. farmer uh, produces enough food for 155 people around the world and that by the year 2040, it's going to have to be up to 265 people for each uh, U.S. farmer. So the challenges are there. And the University of Arkansas Division of Agriculture will be there, listening to you and embracing your challenges as ours.
The land grant university system has served the state, the nation, and arguably the world very well since its origins 150 years ago. The organization, the mission, the vision, and the structure of the land grant university are as relevant today as they have been since its beginnings. The University of Arkansas's Division of Agriculture is dedicated to uh, continuing this mission where we will be a source of unbiased, science-based solutions to the problems and management of agriculture, the environment, families, and rural communities. We hope that the value that society has seen in the land-grant university system in its history will continue in the decades to come.